Now, Nicholas Pesce, the director of Piercing, really came onto my radar with the eyes of uh, my mother, which was one of these uh, simultaneously stunning looking black and white movies with some great cinematography, but with a really dark subject matter that kind of almost turned your stomach at certain points. If you haven't seen that movie, I would wholeheartedly suggest checking that out because it is fantastic. Now, Piercing is a fairly simple-ish story. It pretty much involves two characters. We have Christopher Abbott, who plays Reed, and we have Mia Wazowska, who plays Jackie. Now, Reed is this family man. He's got a newborn baby, he's got a wife, and he's going out on a business trip. He kisses his family goodbye. He travels to the hotel room. And this is where we really get an insight into the man as we discover that he is a killer and waiting. He has a little notebook where he's writing down how best to murder and dispose of this body, the type of person that she he should uh, pick to do this for. And then one of the best sequences in the movie, which I really enjoyed, is him practicing what is going to happen. And it's played um, almost like a mime artist. He's going through, dragging the body into the, the bathroom, setting it up, cutting the head off, and all the way He's doing this, you hear the sounds of that happening, the crunch of bones, the, the sound of flesh being sawed into. And it is such a a strangely shot and, and really well acted scene that it really does capture the imagination. You hear a sound and you can imagine the blood squirting up the wall. Um, and it's just this character who is completely prepping for every situation whatsoever. He knows exactly what he's going to do and he has everything down to the T, and that's when he decides to contact the escort agency. Now, he wants somebody that's into uh, S&M because he needs a reason to tie them up. Like I said, he's got a lot of um, thought into this, and that person turns up and is Jackie, who is the kind of person that turns up in movies and does completely the most unexpected things and completely throws Reed's plans out of the window by her actions and what she gets up to. And like I said, the movie is basically just these two characters. You have them kind of battling uh, wits or wills against each other. Sometimes one's got the upper hand, sometimes it's the other one. Sometimes um, they're telling the truth, sometimes it's fabrication, but it is definitely a battle of two like-minded people. People who like to manipulate other people. And it becomes fun to see the hunter uh, become the hunted, to become the hunter again, as these people just slowly outwit each other as they realise the stakes at hand. And it is marvellous. There is some really fun moments as you feel this relationship really start to blossom before your very eyes. You know, there is some marvellous moments of direction in front of the movie as well that really drive it forward. It's very much a, a set in a, a 70s aesthetic. There is a miniature metropolis that the camera kind of zooms through that has this real but fake feeling about it but really nice and, and textured and strange but very very nice it also has some use of some fantastic gi giallo themes as well most notably there is a split screen um, with both of our characters uh, with the theme of deep red playing over it which is just Absolutely perfect. I noticed also that the, the same main theme of Tenebrae is in there because I've just recently watched those two movies, so those were quite prominent in my head. And it really just delves into these two characters. It lets the scenes play out, it lets them drag out a little bit. You're never quite sure what is happening or what's going to happen next. And it's basically almost just these two characters consistently battling against each other, pretending to open up, sometimes actually opening up, but always with something else in the back of their mind. And the movie ends in a very ambiguous uh, statement, which lets you believe that this is just going to be another turn in these events as it, as it twists again, and maybe it'll go on forever. Maybe someone will finish it. Who knows? Piercing's a really quick and inventive movie. It's 81 minutes, and that's with credits, and it's one of these ones that takes a little bit before it settles into the characters, before things start to get crazier. And like I said, it doesn't give you a definite end to the story. So if that's one of those things that annoys you, this is probably going to do it for me. I like the fact that it left it open for interpretation, to figure out 
what are these two characters actually got up to? And because you've spent such a time with them and because you know them, you can actually imagine several scenarios of what they could possibly be going through next. And I like that. I like the movie a lot. I like this director a lot as well. That's two different movies that I've seen of his, two completely different styles, two completely different tales, and both really fantastic. It's definitely a name to look out for, and I suggest checking out Piercing when you can, and definitely uh, The Eyes of My Mother as well. Great movies. I'd love to know your opinion of Piercing. If you've seen it, let me know in the comment box below, and I'll see you next time. Man vs. Film.